Yeah, look, we, we've wanted to make sure we've got the balance of the squad right. Um, I think in this day and age, squad is more important than ever. We've, we're now five substitutes. You can have almost half the team changed during a game. So you want different options for different moments of, t of matches um, and for different stages of the tournament as well. Um, we've obviously had to cover a couple of players that aren't yet fully fit, fully match fit as well. So having 26 available meant that we were probably able to take a couple of risks that you might not have been able to with 23. Um, but we think the balance is there and we've got cover in the, the positions we need. We're, we're lighter on depth in some positions than other in, in our country. Um, but we think we've got everything covered. We said widely across every bit of the media, I think, before you pick your squad, that James Madison would be the headline story, whether he was in or, or whether he was out. He's in. Why is he in? He's playing really well. Um, look, he's a good player. We've always said he's a good player. He's earned the right. Um, he, we think he can give us something slightly different to the other attacking players that we've got. So I think at various stages there have been conversations, debates about James. There's been moments where, you know, ahead of the Euros, he, I don't think he was in contention. He had a bit of a problem with his hip. And then I think September was probably a, a fair debate. Um, but I think he's playing as well as any of the attacking players in this country. And, um, yeah, he is a little bit different to the others. We've got different types of threat, and I think we, we could need that. Uh, did you speak personally to Callum Wilson? Was he absolutely delighted? I haven't had a chance with Callum. I did speak to James because I think this morning there was a lot of speculation that James wouldn't be with us. And we decided a couple of weeks ago that we would, but we weren't obviously going to go <laughs> and tell him then. Um, I didn't get a chance to speak with Callum. My priority always on these days is the difficult conversations and the sad news, and that is really tough. You know, there's um, not many situations in football harder than that. Maybe releasing a young player um, at, at the early stages of their career, but the, the nature of those conversations, good and bad, reminds you of how much it means to a player to go to a World Cup. And um, yeah, I'm very conscious of that. Um, so it is a great day, but also for some I've had to disappoint them.